Error one. Search key. Welcome back to Kongenimon! Alrighty. So, on the second day of this third trip, I think. So, we're gonna roll. Hmm. Oh, I haven't decided yet. I'm playing this right after the Sky Tree episode, so. So, we've got Mount Takao, Rapongi, Sukiji, and Kabogiza. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is so tough, I don't know. Uh, let's do... We'll do, we'll do Tsukiji, just because I've never even heard of that before. I think I like to go here. Tsukiji, huh? Yeah, you have to go there at least once. Have either of you been there? I've been to Tsukiji itself, and I've been up close to the market, but I've never actually gone inside. That's right. It does have a Jonai and Jogai, doesn't it? Jogai and Jonai? It means inside and outside the market. There are a lot of shops both inside and outside of the market in Tsukiji. Can anyone look inside? I think so. However, it's intended to be a place for professionals to buy goods. So there are some areas regular people can't enter, or only, or can only access at certain times of the day. Hang on, let me look it up. What do you want to see in Tsukiji? I love Japanese food. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I want to go there, because I love Japanese food. So I want to see the giant marketplace that comes from at least once. I hear it's really lively and interesting, even to foreigners. Then you would probably like to watch the Sari, but I don't think you could do that at this time of day. What's Sari? It's the fish auction at the marketplace, and the way they do it is unique. I haven't seen it myself, but I've heard it's quite interesting to watch. American auctions are very unique, I must say. And then you ever see like those people who like try to get the the people who are trying to um, bid? They'll try. So you got the auctioneer, right? And then you got the bidders. And then you have these other people. They're like the middlemen who talk to the bidders. And then whenever they want to get the attention of the auctioneer, they'll basically just yell nonsense. They'll be like, ah! and then they'll say the bid, and they'll do that all in like. A matter of two and a half seconds. Oh, really? Oh, viewing for the tuna auction starts at 5 a.m., and only the first 120 arrivals get to watch it. Registration starts at 4.30 a.m. Who the freak... What 120 people would register for a, a 5 a.m. auction? 4.30 a.m.? Since it's first come, first serve, you have to leave early to see it. To get there from here, you need a car. I see, that's too bad. I guess it stands to reason that it would happen early in the day. They're buying stuff to sell at their restaurants after all. Oh, I guess that makes sense. You're right. All marketplaces open early, I suppose. But what if they lose the auction? Like, what if they lose the bid? Excuse me. Then, are they just going to not bring anything to the restaurant? Although, I, I'm sure they would have some sort of reserves so that that wouldn't happen. But, whatever. But it looks like there's still a lot of things to see in the Jonai until around noon. And then there's still the Jogai. Want to check it out? As long as I'm here, definitely. Then let's try it. I'll show you around today. Sure, thanks. I'm getting the Makata route. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, Akira, you're cool too. Trust me. But going to Sukiji with Makoto sounds fun. The closest station is Sukiji Shisho. That was a tough one. So we'll take the Oedo line. We can get there with only one transfer. Is there anything you want to see while you're there? The Sukiji Honganji is also there, and the Hamarik Hamarikyo Gardens. Is that a Japanese garden? I would love to see that. It's right next to the marketplace, so we can drop by. It'll be my first time there, so I'm looking forward to it, too. You're lucky, Oni-chan. If I didn't have plans today, I'd like to go with you. Oh, you wanted to go, Aki-chan? You know, Tsukiji's full of delicious things, right? Oh, I see. You can eat delicious things there? I'm looking forward to it even more now. I want to get there as early as possible, so we should head out soon. Sure, I'm looking forward to spending the day with you. Emphasis on you. Already. Woo! Sukiji. Woo! Well, we're here. The Sukiji, or this is Sukiji Market. Sukiji. Uh, something I know absolutely nothing about. So this is completely new. I at least knew stuff about the, the Sky Tree, but this, this is super new. Alright, oh, oh, this is a, a very, um, I'll be honest, it looks like a very average area. But I'm sure it's really cool. I mean, the marketplaces aren't flashy, I don't think. I mean, not even um, Amiyoko Shopping Street was that flashy. 
I mean, it was a little bit flashy, but I'm sure this is even less so. Wow, so many people. I see a lot of foreigners, too. It's a popular tourist spot for foreigners, and there's still some time before noon, so it's quite lively. If you go in there, will, it, will we be in the Jonai? Yes, inside there is the Tsukiji Jonai. There are dozens of shops outside, too, but why don't we look around inside first? What kind of shops? I'm really looking forward to it. So am I. Now let's get inside quick, Lee. Oh, so this is a Tsukiji Jonai. There's so many people. Aren't, are they mostly tourists? Oh, look out. Huh? Huh? There's a weird thing driving around. What is it? It's a vehicle called a Tare. You can load up your purchases in the back and carry them around. Oh, there's another one. Looking around, there are quite a few of them driving around. It's how the people who work here get around, too, because the Jonai is so big. That looks really fun. I bet that would make a sight or sightseeing a lot easier, too. <laughs> I'm sure renting them would be very popular. However, they're not meant to play around on. I see. I'd still like to ride in the back a little, though. <laughs> Me too. Well, let's just walk the way we should. Rushai, Rushai! Delicious food! Come try some! Oh, it's so lively. It's like some invisible energy is crashing up against my body. Is it the vitality of the crowd? This is like a food amusement park. The paths are narrow, yet they're lined up with many shops. It's so dense. It smells like a beach. Like we're in the harbor town. Yeah, I know just what you mean. Ah. Uh. E, are you okay? Y yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, my foot slipped. That was a very unoffendful foot slippage. Oni san, the floor's wet, so be careful. Oh, right, sorry. Hey, the wooden basket the guy was carrying was really neat. Hmm? Looking around, I can see a lot of people carrying those same wood baskets. Oh, they're probably they probably run businesses. In other words, they're professionals. They're here to buy ingredients for their restaurants. That's right, since this is the, where the pros buy their stuff. That's correct. This place is the kitchen of Japan. The kitchen of Japan? That's kind of cool. So, well, Kappa... Kappa... Wait, the place in um, Asakusa. The Kappa Street. That's... I always thought that was the cooking town, but this is the kitchen. Okay, I got you. What was it called? I, I forget. It's Kappa something. This is the largest market in the world. More money passes through here than anywhere else in Japan, and they say in the world too. What? Really? Tsukiji's market is that big? They must have everything, huh? Yes, they have a lot of delicious things here. I can see why Akichan wanted to come so badly. <laughs> hey, should we buy Akira a souvenir? Good idea. I'm sure that would make her very happy. What would be good? Salmon roe? Tuna? Or maybe some snow crab? Something raw would probably spoil. In that case... Oh! Gyudon! Gyudon? I don't know if Gyudon counts as a Tsukiji souvenir. What is that even? Not that, look over there. That's one of the famous Gyodon chain restaurants, isn't it? What? There can't be a Gyodon restaurant in a place like... Oh, there is! Oh, Makoto pulled a Nori... What? Oh, no... Makoto pulled a Noritsukomi? What? What's a Noritsukomi? <laughs> Actually, I think I've heard about this. I think that's store number one. Huh? Store number one is here? Really? Wait a minute, I'll look it up. Oh, it's true. Surprisingly, that Gyodon chain got its start with the store here in Tsukiji. Wow, it's really surprising to see beef in a fish market. The Yatama no Omori, which means extra meat, became very popular at the store and others later adopted it. So Watama refers to the meat. That's interesting. It seems there are some unique terms used only in Tsukiji store. Sumeshiro, Hanshari, Toradaku, lots of things. I don't understand that at all. Sumeshio is gyodon made with chilled rice. The people who work in the market don't have much time, so that lets them eat quickly. I see. So it's a uniquely Tsukiji menu. That's interesting. Oh, now that I look, it's not just a fish. It's not just fish. There are all kinds of restaurants. Look, there's a pizzeria. You're right. There's a curry shop, a coffee shop, and then even an odango shop. Odango? I thought it was all fish, but there's a surprising amount of variety. It does make sense, though. A lot of people work here. You get sick of eating just fish every day. Ah, uh, that's a good point. Oh, look, it's not just food. There's a t-shirt store, too. You're right. You can buy Wellington boots and things, too. Oh, there's a bookstore here, too. It's not all fishery products, then. I suppose it stands to reason, but I had no idea. As long as we're here, I want to buy something. It's okay as long as it's not raw food, right? Yes, anything that won't spoil. Right. I wonder what will make a good souvenir for Akira. There's so much to choose from. 
Oh, maybe that would be good. I've seen it on TV, but this is my first time seeing it in real life. Did you find something good? Yeah, I made up my mind. I'm gonna buy it. This is a market. So you think I could get it below market price? Oh, haggling is not permitted in Tsukiji, since the prices are assigned reasonably by proud professionals. They should be plenty cheap as they are. Good point. If I didn't know that and asked them to make it cheaper, I might make trouble for the store owner. I'm glad I asked first. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm terrible at haggling anyway, so I, I'm too much of a pushover to do that. Phew, I managed to buy it. I was so nervous. <laughs> I get nervous buying stuff in Japan, or I got nervous buying stuff in Japan too. Good job. Do you think we've had a good look around? It's time to explore the Jogai. First, would you like to eat something? I'd like to eat in the Jonai if possible. Oh yes, as long as we're here, let's do that. Is there something you'd like to eat? Sushi! <laughs> I thought you'd say that. I think I will get it too. We're right in sync. Wavelength. Okay, let's find somewhere good and reasonably priced. Oh, speaking of that, they say there's a trick for finding a good place to eat at Tsukiji. Huh? What is it? If you see people in Wellington boots eating there, you know the food is good. Wellington boots? Why would that mean the food is good? People in Wellington boots will be working in the marketplace, right? They have discriminating palates, so if they eat there, it must be good. Oh, of course. Then we just have to find a sushi place where people in Wellington boots are eating. Heh, <laughs> that's right. Okay, I'm gonna work hard to find a delicious sushi restaurant with people in Wellington boots. That sounds so ridiculous. But it's it's cool concept, I like that. Ah, that was delicious! Non-conveyor sushi. The Wellington boot roll was right on the money. I'm glad we found a place that was both inexpensive and delicious. I feel positively stuffed. Let's walk around a little while we digest. Good idea. Oh, right. Let's drop by Tsukiji's general information desk before we head for the Jogai. Pirato. Tsukiji? You can get information on sightseeing in Tsukiji here. They have pamphlets and maps of local sites, too. Having a map would be really helpful. Indeed. It seems you can get a volunteer interpreter to show you around if you're a foreign tourist. Wow, that's great service. I've got you, so I'm okay. But there are probably a lot of sightseers who don't understand much Japanese. I don't think they're always available. But it's a good place to stop by when you when you visit Tsukiji. They need to have coin lockers and rest areas. Having coin lockers would be helpful. It looks like they also sell original products. I see. I think I'd like to check it out too. Okay, we got our map. I, I almost said nap. I was yawning right before that. Now let's look around the Joe guy. I wonder what the Joe guy is like. Can't wait to see. Woo! Tsukiji Joe guy Shijo. This place is as lively as the Joe and I. I think there might actually be more visitors here. Let's take a look at the Joe guy. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, lots of foreigners, dang. Alright. Alright, yeah, this is definitely making me hungry, for real. Okay, those are the uh, the Tare they were talking about, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I want to ride one of those. Uh, I thought they were bigger, but I guess they don't need to be that big. So it's just like a, like a cart on wheels, essentially. Oh, this is in Chuo District, Tokyo. You may be right. I think a lot of people come here and never go inside. There's such a large variety of stores here. I, I started off as Makoto, sorry. And a lot of things that look delicious. There are things we can eat on the spot too. Why don't we eat something? Yeah, I'd love that. What would be good? Let's see. Everything looks so delicious. What? Looking closely, there are a few there are a few tamagoyaki shops. Yes, the Tsukiji Jokai is famous for tama tamagoyaki shops. The brother of a certain popular entertainer runs one too. Wow, really? Would you like to try one? Tamagoyaki here. Can we eat it? They serve it in small sizes, so you can eat it on the spot. Look, that shop has taka takoyaki on skewers. Oh, you're right. They could eat it while you walk around. Japanese people usually don't like to eat as they walk, so this is great. All the stores sell a full portion for about 100 yen. They're easy to eat a lot, or to eat, so a lot of people like to try and compare them. There are so many, I bet comparing them would be really fun. Then why don't we eat one? Where shall we eat? The closest one. There. I'll buy it. Takayaki's on me. Irashimasu! Will you be eating right away? Ah, uh, yes. I'll have two of those little ones. No, oh, thank you for your business. I bought some. Thank you. It looks so fresh and delicious. 
Okay, you did like an ass. Oh, so hot. It's really, it really is piping hot, but it's so fluffy and delicious. It really is. I know you can make some tamagoyaki, this flavor, or this fluffy, and the flavor is so rich. So what's the difference between takoyaki and tamagoyaki? I don't really know. I can see why people want to try all the stalls. The dashi, the, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. When I read that, I was thinking like dashi from dashi games. The dashi they use must change the flavor. There's dashi and tamagoyaki. I guess that's why it's so rich. Oh, mm, really is good. Is it good? Then please come by again. Sure, we definitely will. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, the seller. The next time you come, this area may be nicer to look at. Nicer? Are you rebuilding your shop? Oh no, the truth is, Tsukiji Market is moving. Huh? It's moving? You mean Tsukiji is going to be somewhere else? They've been working around problems with aging and disaster prevention for a while, but now they're officially moving Tsukiji Market to Toyasu. I see. The next time I come, the market might not even be here. Yes, it might be very different by the time you come back. But the Jogai will still be in Tsukiji. They say they're building a new Tsukiji Market. Oh, I see. So it'll be this busy. Yes, you're right. I hope you're right. But even if it stays here, it probably will look different. This old, disorderly, yet powerful site. I might not ever see it again. Snap pictures, bro. Thinking about it that way, this was a real, once-in-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad we came to Tsukiji today. That's right. Don't forget it. Yeah, I definitely won't forget. Let's explore every corner of it so that we remember everything. Yeah, I want to burn it in my mind. And my tongue, too. Ha! <laughs> I made jokes. I funny. Tsukiji Market was really fun, huh? I'm glad you enjoyed it. Well, we still have some time, so let's look around somewhere else. There was a temple and a garden, right? Yes, they're both famous. We'll start with the one that's closer. This is Tsukiji Honganji Temple. Alright. Let me adjust myself to my seat. Ugh, I've been sitting here for a while. I'm getting stiff. Ugh, stretching. Uh, okay. Oh, that's cool. Alright. So, the Tsukiji Honganji Temple. Okay, that's pretty cool. It looks like a museum, though. Huh? This is a temple? This building seems kind of odd. Even though it's a Japanese temple, it has a sort of a foreign air to it. It does. It looks European. The building is designed as a combination of two cultures, ancient Indian and traditional Japanese. Oh, it does look Indian. Okay. I was thinking kind of like Taj Mahal-ish, almost. It's been designated an important cultural asset. Ancient Indian, huh? Okay, now that you mention it, the temple isn't wood, is it? Yes, it looks like steel frame concrete and granite. Steel frame? So it's not an old structure? Right, the Tsukiji Honganji took this form during the early Showa period. The prior building burned down in the Taisho period during the Great Kanto earthquake. Burned down? So that's why they rebuilt it into this modern building. It burned down during a fire in the Edo period, too. It was near Asakusa then, and they couldn't rebuild it on the old site, so they moved it here. It seems they reclaimed this area from the ocean to rebuild the temple. That's why the area is called Suiji, which means reclaimed land. Shall we go inside? Oh, whoa, it's kind of dark. It has a real spiritual air to it. Um, will this show the outside of it or the inside? I couldn't imagine they'd be able to show the inside, but I could be wrong. Okay, I am wrong. <clears throat> huh? Something about this place feels different from your usual temple. What could it be? Oh, I know, chairs. There are rows of chairs. Why, yes, that is unusual for a temple. Yeah, it's more like a church. It is, now that you mention it. They have a big space on this side for lots of people to gather. It really is big. There are a lot of strange objects. Stained glass. And look there, is that a pipe organ? These are more unique aspects of Tsukiji Honganji. I hear, I hear they hold pipe organ concerts here, too. Concerts at a temple? It's sounding more, more like a church. I can't figure out why it's a Buddhist temple. Heh, <laughs> you're right. It is definitely an official Buddhist temple, though. As long as we're here, let's pay our respects. Yeah, we should pay our respects to the Buddha. How did you like the Tsukiji Honganji? It was a really mysterious place. Japanese temples have so much to them. I'd like to hear some music on that pipe organ sometime. I do like organ music. That is pretty cool stuff. Oh, on the last Friday of every month, they hold something called a lunchtime concert. Anyone can come and listen for free. The next time, we should definitely come to hear it. Having lunch with Makoto and then listening to a pipe organ sounds like a great time. Let's head to the next place. This one will have a more orthodox Japanese feel to it. 
A Japanese garden? I can't wait. Japanese gardens, I love them. These are the Hamarikyu Gardens. Alright, Hamarikyu Gardens. Alrighty. Um, oh, I guess I'm on the outside of it. These freaking buses. They must be tour buses or something. Someone was having a field trip this day that they were taking pictures. Alright, you can't really see much because they probably don't permit the the picture thing to pass through. I mean, I mean, how would it? It's probably a big thingy thing that can't fit there. I don't know. They're bigger than I thought and surrounded by a canal. In the Edo period, a reclaimed land via villa built by Tokugawa Tsunashige was designated as the sh shogunate's... Uh, sh so is, shog is it shogun or shogun? Because this wouldn't be shogunate. I highly doubt that. Family villa by his son, the sixth shogun, Inobu. <sighs> Man, lots of Japanese words this time around. <clears throat> he had it remodeled with an incredible garden added on. It's also said to have been the Shogun's Falconry Grounds. The Shogun's Falconry Grounds? That's awesome. Heh, <laughs> shall we go inside? Is it free to get in? No, the entrance for the is usually 300 yen. It seems they also have a 1200 yen year-long pass. Visiting as many times as you want for 1200 yen a year? That'd be great if I had lived or worked in the area. Right? I'm almost jealous. Let's pay 300 yen and go inside. Woo! Wow, it's big and green. It's hard to believe we're in the middle of Tokyo, but I can see skyscrapers all around us. What a mysterious feeling. This kind of scenery is characteristic of the heart of Tokyo. Whoa, there's a big tree. Is that a pine tree? It's a 300-year-old pine. This sign s tells the year of its planting. In 1709, the 6th Shogun Ien Ienobu yep, planted this tree when he refurbished this garden. This is amazing. The branches stretch out so far, you wouldn't think it was just one tree. People say it's the largest black pine in the city. I feel like I got my 300 yen worth. <laughs> not just yet. There's still a lot of things to see. Let's walk around and see them all. Yay. Oh, a pond. Oh, okay. So I can look at this. That's cool. Oh, oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's so neat. It's like the tori almost. Oh, this is so cool. Japanese gardens are beautiful. All right, that's so cool. All right. This is called the Shiar. Ooh, Shiari, Shiari. This is called the Shiari Pond. It's the only saltwater pond in the city. Huh? The pond is saltwater. That's right. The ocean is nearby. Tokyo Harbor. Really? Oh, I see. We're right next to Tsukiji Market. It only makes sense that the ocean would be nearby. That's right. I mentioned it before, but this place was built on land reclaimed from the ocean. Oh, that's right. The pond takes in water from Tokyo Harbor through a sluice gate. They say the scenery changes with the tide. These kind of ponds are called tidal ponds. A long time ago, there were others like it in Tokyo, but this is the only one still around. A pond connected to the ocean is an amazing idea. So there must be ocean fish in there too, huh? Fish from Tokyo Harbor, yes. People would fish here back in the Edo period, but now it's prohibited. Fishing while looking at scenery like this would probably feel pretty great, huh? It does feel like the dignified hobby of a shogun, doesn't it? Hey, what's that bridge? It looks like there's something at the center of the pond. That's a tea room, I think. A tea room? You mean like a cafe? That's the modern version, but the tea we drink there would probably be matcha. Matcha? I know about matcha. It's famous. I had matcha flavored ice cream in Anmayoko. That's right. Lately, they've been putting matcha flavoring in a lot of sweets overseas. I like to drink matcha. What do you think of having tea over there? Yes, that's fine. The weather is good and the view is nice. Let's rest there for a bit. Irashimase, take off your shoes and come in. All right, the tea room. Oh, that's a cute little place. Oh, look at that. The, the trees and stuff. The, the bonsai trees. Oh, that's so neat. Oh, Japanese gardens are so awesome. Tokyo, I miss you so much. Oh, there's tatami inside. That's why we have to take our shoes. Because it's tea room in Japanese garden. Oh, can you sit in Saiza? Seiza? Seiza? Huh? 
I probably won't be great at it. I suppose not. Even Japanese people don't sit in Seiza very often anymore. You can sit cross-legged if you want. We also have chair seating outside if you prefer. I have to find out what Seiza is. Well, we can go outside. The view is lovely. That would be nice. Understood. Then I'll show you the outdoor seating. Oh, this is a great view. Eating outside was the right choice. Yeah, the wind feels great. It looks like this is the menu. What shall we order? Hmm, what would be good? We could just get matcha, but as long as we're here, why don't we get it in a set with some jonamagashi? Jonamagashi, what's that? It's also called nerekiri. It's made from white bean paste, rice flour, and sugar all mixed and kneaded. There's a picture here. As you can see, they're lovely confections. I've never heard of them before. If there's been... If there's bean paste in it, it's sweet, right? Maybe we should try some. I'll have some too. Excuse me, we'd like two of the matcha and seasonal janamagashi sets. Understood. Please wait one moment. It's really peaceful out here though. The earlier chaos of Tsukiji almost feels like a dream. Oh, that was me, dang it. It's true. It's like another world. Hey, a fish jumped out of the water. Fishy, fishy. Time does seem to pass slowly, doesn't it? It's nice to take it slow like this now and then. Gokuraku, Gokuraku, is that what they say, right? Heh, <laughs> that's not quite the right usage of the phrase. But this really does feel great. I've gotten a great mood, or I've got a great mood going on here with Makoto. Omotase, I almost had it. I've gotten that one before on the first try. Omotase shmashita. Here's the mashita and seasonal janamagashi set. Oh, it's here. Thanks. Hey, what is this? This is a dessert? Yeah, isn't it pretty? Yeah, I've never seen so many. I've never seen sweets so pretty before. Is this a flower? They're designed to look like seasonal flowers. Please enjoy them both with your tongue and your eyes. Sure. They really are pretty. The colors are so vivid. I would never have guessed it was bean paste and this delicate craftsmanship. I wouldn't think it was a dessert. <laughs> you seem to be enjoying it with your eyes. I'm so impressed. It feels like a waste to eat it. Then why not start with the matcha? Oh, that's right. Wow, it's so green. Oh, that's a strange thought. <laughs> matcha really has a very lovely green color to it, doesn't it? Yeah, seriously. Oh, isn't there a particular way you drink this? You turn the cup or something? When you're doing tea ceremony, yes, it's a show of respect toward the person making it. You don't need to worry about it now. I see. I can just relax and drink it. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Is it too bitter? Yeah, a little. But coffee is bitter too, so I guess there would be tea that's that way. The confections are sweet, so if you eat them while you drink, it might balance out. That's right, the Jonomagashi. It feels like a waste to eat them, but I need to enjoy them with my tongue, not just my eyes, right? Do I eat them with this wooden fork? Yes, cut them into bite sizes. Itadakimasu! Um, whoa, it's so sweet. They really are little balls of bean paste. But it's a refined sweetness, right? Yeah, but it's not just sweet. There's something a little richer there. Oh, now if I drink the matcha with the sweetness in my mouth... <laughs> ah, you're right. It's perfect. Oishi. Isn't it? Then I'll try it too. Oh, it really is delicious. This peaceful scenery, the delicious sweets, and the matcha. I really do f feel reinvigorated. Oh, you forgot the company too. Yeah, I feel like I've come back to life. I'm starting to wish I could stay here with Makoto forever. I wish time would just stop right now. Uh, here we go with the whole philosophical vortex again. Oh, that was delicious. At first I just thought it was bitter. But now I'm starting to appreciate matcha. I'm glad. As a Japanese person, I'm very happy to see you enjoying Japanese culture. I love Japan and Japanese culture. <laughs> I love Japan and Japanese culture both. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I got you. I got you, me. I got you, me. Uh, okay. Yeah, let, let's rock around a bit more. Gosh, we've been doing a lot today. Oh, the water. I can smell salt. Is that the ocean? Oh, you got a picture of the bus stop. Man. We're just rolling with all this stuff. Alright. You got a bunch of people waiting. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, they're posing. <laughs> they're posing for the picture. That's funny. Alrighty. Um... Okay, it's really neat. Such pretty trees too. 
All right. It seems so. Look, just beyond the, emb the embankment. I think that's Tokyo Harbor. Oh, seagulls. This one garden has so many faces. Hmm? Is that a wharf? Oh, that was me again. Dang it. Now that you mention it, I think the water bus runs from here. The water bus runs from the garden? But you can only use it if you're using Hamaraku. If you want to get off here, you, bet you have to pay the garden's entry fee. It would be fun to arrive in the garden by boat. How far can you go on one of those? Asakusa or Daiba? There are a lot of routes. Wow, that sounds fun. Boats are fun. Traveling by boat is nice, but we've done so much today already. We should do that another time. Yeah, you're right. Tsukiji Market, Tsukiji Honganji, and the Hamar Hamarikyu Gardens. Each one of them embodied different shades of Japan's appeal. The sushi was delicious too. Yeah, non-conveyor sushi is amazing. <laughs> then why don't we head home now? Good idea. If we walked around here anymore, I'd burst from all the memories. If you enjoyed it that much, then I feel like I've done my duty as a tour guide. Thanks so much for today, Makoto. You're welcome. I had a lot of fun, too. Ah, then. What did you buy Akira as a souvenir? Oh, it's... I'm not gonna find out! Man! It's like a major cliffhanger. Oh, oh, okay. Why did you get me wasabi as a souvenir? Oh, that was... That was very thoughtful of you, me. Huh? Is it not good? I thought fresh wasabi was really rare. I thought you'd be happy. It is rare, and maybe it's really tasty. But if you were at Tsukiji, there were probably a lot more delicious things there. Go back and buy me something else. Huh? I would like to go there again, though. It was really fun. Oh, well. It was another full day. Uh, oh, what? Do I have gas? Oh, oh, I'm hungry. Okay. <laughs> That's right, it's time for dinner. I wonder what's for dinner tonight. Akira's cooking is so delicious, I always end up overeating. I don't know if this is different or whatever, but they say Japanese food is really good for you. Oh, actually, that's weird. This is usually where I'd be smelling the delicious aroma of dinner coming from the kitchen. Huh? Akira's not here, and nothing has been prepared for dinner. Akira, where's my dinner? Sorry. Instead, here's something in the distance. Is that the sound of taiko drums? And flutes, too? Oh, there you are. I went to your room, but you weren't there. Makoto. Do you hear that sound? Yeah, it's got a real folklore feel to it. But it's kind of exciting, too. What is it? <laughs> There's a festival at the nearby shrine today. A festival? Although it's not a very big one. They put up stalls on the shrine grounds, that's all. They have festivals at shrines, right? Yes. Japan has traditionally been a polytheistic country with the people all honoring different gods. So a variety of shrines hold festivals targeted at the people in their own regions. Huh. Do you know the Japanese term, Hare no Hi? Hare no Hi. Isn't it about the weather? It's derived from the same concept. To put it simply, you take a day to recover the energy you spent during your everyday life. In other words, you gradually use up your energy day after day. Oh, energy day after day. So the day you spend restoring it is called Hare no Hi. I need a lot of Hare no Hi's. Blessed days, like weddings, are also considered Hare no Hi. So today is Hare no Hi, I take it. That's right. This is the day you would go to the shrine and restore your dwelling spirit. Then the reason that sound is so exciting is because of this Hare no Hi, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Ah, does that mean we're going to eat that, or going to eat that festival? Come on. Going to that festival now? Right. Let's get going. I want to see a Japanese festival. Well, about that. Would you mind heading to the festival plaza on your own? Huh? On my own? Yes, the two of us have something to do. We'll meet you there later. Oh, don't worry. The area isn't that complicated. You have a map on your smartphone, don't you? Oh, so with 2015, they added the smartphones, didn't they? I got you, Gogo Nippon. I do, but... Then you'll be r fine, right? Well, itirashai. Itirashai, a ritual Japanese phrase or used when seeing someone off. Huh? Oh, wait. Itakimasu! I don't know if that's the right one. No, Itakimasu, I think, is when you... Is it when you enter? No, when you enter is Tadaima. And then when you leave it, yeah, it's Itakimasu. Okay. She just forced me out before I could get a word in. What was that thing they had to do? Well, maybe it's better not to force the issue. Someone once said, you're better off not pursuing the secrets of women. <laughs> that's probably true in Japan as well as my country. <laughs> oh well, they said that they'd come later. So I guess I'll just go to the festival myself. They're going to be starring in the festival in some way, aren't they? 
Um, turn here. Then a left here. And I'm lost. Huh? I'm <laughs> Who called it? Because that would happen to me. You're joking, right? I got lost in a random residential area. No, I guess it's because this is a random residential area without any landmarks that I got lost. At a time like this, you have to keep calm. For now. I made it back this far, so hey, there's the upside down McDonald's, so I'm good. It's my phone. Hello? Where are you right now? Huh? I'm in front of the station? The station? What are you doing there? Well, I got a little lost. <sighs> what are you even doing? Aki-chan, give it to me. Hello, it's me. Oh, Makoto. We arrived at the shrine before you. Are you okay? Can you make it here by yourself? If you can't, we can meet you at the station. I'll, I'll be fine. I can make it by myself. Really? You'll know you're getting close once you see a lot of people heading for the shrine, so it should be recognizable. Yeah, I understand. I'll go there now. I'm pitiful. I screwed up. <laughs> I flooped up. This time I won't get lost. That's a bunch of bull. I see. I got on the wrong street the first time. If I turn here... Oh, I hear the drums. I hear the music from the festival. Makoto and Akita. Ah, oh, you made it. This way. Uh, oh. Oh, snap. I knew it. <laughs> What's wrong? Kimono! Wonderful! That's amazing! Why are you dressed like that? Why? We put them on, obviously. At home. <laughs> oh, was that Akira? I don't remember. Whatever. <laughs> I thought we'd surprise you. That's why I asked you to meet us here. But then you went and got lost. You really are hopeless. I'm sorry. But it's still a really nice surprise. Akira, are you Okami? Why are you dressed like that? It's customary for girls to dress like this for festivals. Really? But it's a waste to only do it for festivals. You should wear them all the time. Oh, I wouldn't want that. It's pretty uncomfortable. Really? Yes, the obi is very tight, so it's much more uncomfortable than you think. And if we wore this every day, it wouldn't feel special. That's true. Even so, it really is great. So, what do you think? About what? About how we look. Uh, is it, um, weird? You look really cute, of course. He said it. Isn't that nice, Aki-chan? I, I wasn't asking because of that. Besides, I bet he wasn't talking about me. He was talking about you, Aki-chan. No way. I meant or I meant that you both look really cute. Mm hmm. I see. So I'm included as well. Thank you. Now that I look again, there really are a lot of girls here in Kimono. But these two, out of all of them, they could really turn a lot of guys' heads looking this way. Or looking like this. Japanese rimen, rimen. What the freak? I uh, see. I can't. I can't speak correctly because I'm just so encapsulated by your looks. Okay. Japanese women really do look great in kimono, huh? That's right. However, what you said is incorrect. What is? This isn't a kimono. It's a yukata. Yukata? How's that different from a kimono? Well, it's a type of kimono. I suppose you could call it a simple kimono. A simple kimono. Yes, with the kimono, you have to wear several layers beneath it, and the obi is difficult to tie. They were quite difficult to wear. I couldn't put one on my, by myself. I see. By comparison, a yukata is easier to put on. It's also cooler than a kimono, and you can put it on by yourself. They were originally used after a bath or as pajamas. If you stay at an inn with a hot spring, they typically provide you with a simple yukata to wear. You've never seen it on TV? I gotta go to one of these inns. That'd be so cool. Now that she mentioned it, Whenever I see a hot spring in a Japanese guidebook, there's always a picture of a woman wearing a kimono. I see. So it's called a yukata, huh? Of course. The yukata we wear to events like these are much more elegant than the hot spring ones. There are a bunch of cute obi nowadays, too. That's true. I see people with a lot of different patterns on their yukata and obi. Anyway, it's a festival. A festival! You want to look around for a while, right? Right. There's no point standing around and talking forever. I want to eat a candy apple. Well, you're already doing that. That sounds nice. I think I'll get some cotton candy. Oh. Now that you mention it, there are a lot of stalls here. Food! Lots of food and lots of non-food. <laughs> so that's what I call everything that's not food is just non-food. Huh? What's that stall over there? Huh? Crap. I got separated from them? I actually said crap in this game. Cool. 
Hey, Makoto, Akira. Oh, that's right. I, I there's a couple crosswords in this too. Oh well, I guess I'll wander around for a bit. Oh, there he is. Akira, thank goodness. Onichan, this way. Jeez, you disappeared the second we took our eyes off you. You guys disappeared. Really, we searched everywhere. You two still seem to be carrying a lot of food, though. Oh, well, as long as we're here, we wanted to enjoy ourselves a bit. A bit, huh? Now, now, don't give us that look. We can eat it all together, right? That's right. It'll get cold if we don't eat it. Ugh, it's true. It all smells really good. And they're all foods I've never seen before. What should we eat first? Hmm. Well, if it's a festival, it's gotta be this. One of those little ball things. It's takoyaki. Takoyaki. They're pieces of octopus in a flower-based batter. Octopus? You mean those wriggly things? No, like the freaking... What else is an octopus? My gosh. Lots of foreigners don't like eating octopus, do they? I love octopus. Really? But it's so delicious. It is. Come on, me. Eat it. Just try one. It's good. Eat it. Really? Yes, really. Well, what if we do it this way? Say, ah. Ah. Uh, oh, I just did it reflexively. <laughs> it's hot! Uh, 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 hot water! Oh, what are you talking about? Piping hot takoyaki that leaves you panning while you eat it is the best kind. It, it's certainly tasty. The flavor of the sauce is a great match for the texture of the octopus. But it's really hot. <laughs> Drink some of this. Thanks. Huh? What is this? How do you open it? You use this little tool. Put, put this protruding section over the bottle cap and apply pressure inward. Inward? Like this? Sounds like a practice, like a regular can opener. Whoa, it overflowed. I gotta drink it fast. H huh? What's going on? I tried to drink it, but now nothing's coming out. <laughs> Look carefully at the bottle. Look at it? Oh, there's a glass bead in the neck. Oh, there's glass Japanese bottles. That's cool. When I tilt the bottle over to drink it, the glass bead stops the opening. Yes, so you see the dent in the bottle? Try to drink it so the bead get ca gets caught in there. So it gets caught in there. Huh, okay. Hmm, it's not easy. Mm, oh, oh. Hey, it's sweet and tasty soda water. It's called Ramune. Ramune. It's diluted. It's diluted lemonade, apparently. Even though lemonade is an entirely different drink. That's true. Why does it have such a weird shape? When you carbonate the contents, the pressure forces the glass bead to seal it. See? I see. So you could recycle it even if you had only the bottle. I hear Ramune bottles originated in, Japan, in England. You never seen one? That's right, this is my first time, yeah. Unfortunately, it seems England no longer produces them, but as you can see, Japan continues to make them. It's mysterious, isn't it? The only change is the shape of the bottle, but somehow that makes it tastier. Well, what shall we eat next? There are candied apples, cotton candy, yakisoba, and how much did she buy? Phew, I'm so full, I'm about to bust out of my obi. <laughs> Oh, Aki-chan, how could you eat all of that? At times like this, I always end up overeating by accident. I understand. The atmosphere can affect the taste. They wouldn't be that tasty if you ate them normally, but they, they're nice to eat in a setting like this, huh? Wow, I'm impressed that you understand that. I'm not that dense. Was she praising me or dissing me just now? Which one? Well, now that my stomach's settled down, do you want to walk around the festival one more time? Of course. We didn't look around much earlier, and there's a lot of neat stuff here. Well, shall we split up then? Who do you want to walk around with? Me or Akira? Good question. I have to save that for the next time. Okay? I didn't think it would be this long, but uh, this festival's taken quite a bit. So, thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And as always, peace!